Oh, so now you believe in borders. This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live. Make sure you still subscribe and comment on this video. Let's get into it. Justin Trudeau, one of the softest leaders in the entire world. I, I, I cannot stand him. He's such a SJW, lead from the rear type person. And I don't like people like that. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is not to criticize specifically his character, but the hypocrisy that comes from these leftist lunatics. I know y'all remember Justin Trudeau, all these other liberals around the world are saying, oh, we don't believe in borders. We believe in building bridges. We, we, don't, we, don't, we don't think that we should discriminate against people in need. And now he's closing the border. And I don't want to hear none of y'all say nothing about the fact that it's a national emergency. I don't want to hear you say nothing. Because you're telling me that millions of people bombarding your border is not, an, is not a disaster? It's not worth uh, a national emergency? You're telling me sex trafficking ain't a national emergency? You're telling me human trafficking? You, you're telling me all the things, drug dealing, gang, MS-13, none of that is a national emergency. So you're telling me that you should have open borders and anybody should be able to come into your country until you get pressed on the issue and then you want to close your border and, and, and Canada is only welcome to permanent residents and citizens. Citizens. No, I thought, I thought that there was no... I thought that there was some ambiguity, right? I thought the citizenship was just something in the ether. And that if you come to somebody's country illegally, you're just undocumented. And, and you just temporarily uh, um, um, don't have the paperwork you need until we can rectify the situation. Not true. And all they do is lie to you. Mexico is doing the same thing. When Trump does it, everybody flips out. Everybody cry. Everybody's saying he's a racist. And now, when they have to be hard-pressed and they have to make decisions for their country, now all of a sudden it's okay to close off your border to Americans. To Americans. You only want people in your country to be there. Okay, I get it. I get it. They fake. These people are fraudulent. These people are hypocrites. Ladies and gentlemen, Chuck Schumer, all them, wanted to secure our borders. Hillary Clinton wanted to secure our borders. Barack Obama deported more people than anybody, any other president in the United States history combined. And all of a sudden, because it's against Trump, they want to throw, throw out the card. There's another thing that I find very interesting. It's another thing I find very interesting. And I'll make this in another video. Why are some of these liberals all getting the, the, the virus? It seems like it's just liberals. It doesn't seem like it's a lot of conservative celebrities, a bunch of liberal celebrities that are getting the virus and they're coming out making videos and I'm, 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 I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I've been infected. And how, how did you get a test though? How, how did you get a test? How somehow, because we know you didn't go to a hospital, you're too famous to go to a hospital. People would be bombarding you, people would be taking pictures seeing you in a hospital. So how did you somehow scrounge up a test from God knows where, to get tested probably with no evidence that you were exposed and no symptoms. Anyway, I just wanted to make this video the clown Trudeau and all these Democrats and all these liberals who, who cry up and down about open borders and, bo and bridges, not walls, and all this other stuff. And then when the stuff hit the fan, when the pressure is on, what do they do? They choose their country. Same thing Trump been doing all of these years. Trump has been, from the beginning, has been putting America first. And I feel like that's why we haven't had the type of numbers that Italy has had. We haven't had the type of numbers that uh, uh, China has had. Because the president is focused on helping his own people first. And, when, and, and at the instance that Europe is not beneficial to the safety and well-being of America, the border is shut down. When China's having this outbreak that they started, President Trump shuts the border down. When illegals are coming up from the South, bringing in drugs and crime and, and overwhelming our system, he shut it down. And I'm going to say this last point and I'm getting out for you, I promise. I don't understand how people do not see the correlation between borders and, and, and success and non-borders and non-success. 
We see a crisis going on with the virus. Everybody's panicking. There's a shortage of food or whatever the case may be because people are going to the stores and taking everything. They haven't even declared a national emergency or at least a national quarantine. When they do, we're going to see it go five and six times what it is today. Our hospitals are being overwhelmed. Now, if we don't have borders, what do you think that's going to look like? Our citizens may not have the adequate preparation or treatment in preparation for an outbreak, but somehow we're supposed to deal with that and deal with people just coming to our country. Just imagine this. What if Mexico got hit really bad because they didn't shut down their ports, they didn't shut down air travel to Mexico, and they got infected by the tens of thousands, and those migrants want to come up through our country? And we're supposed to let everybody in. We're not deporting nobody. We don't believe in walls. Come on, y'all know these people fake. Faker than a $2 bill. Anyway, matter of fact, a $3 bill. Anyway, let me get off this thing. Y'all let me know what you think. Comment in the comment section. Like, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell. Y'all know what it is. Visit the Officer Tatum store. Put lockdown in the discount section and you'll get a discount on the store. See you on the next one.